which they already got it okay okay so basically when it comes to the citrix now this is a basic definition like what is citrix and how it works so basically it is a company located in okay. US Florida and it okay. is popular for the virtualization and in virtualization the most popular products from citrix are genap and gen server okay sorry genap and gen desktop so earlier they were known as genap and gen desktop now they guys rename their products to citrix virtual apps and virtual desktop okay so this is a kind of basic definition okay but if you want to explore the basic definition more you can <laughs> google it okay you will get multiple things when company founded or that doesn't matter for us okay, okay. now where is my first one okay Okay, so this is a complete intro of Citrix, how it works, like working in the key components, right? So the left hand side, it is end user device on end user device. What we have to do, we have to install one application, which is known as Citrix Workspace app, okay? And it is common okay. for all the end users, right? <laughs> in between, we are having firewall, which is known as Citrix NetScaler, or you can use some different firewalls as well. If you are having Cisco firewalls or any other firewalls, you can use that, okay? So this is a kind of okay. additional thing. And that right hand part, this part, it is your data center, right? In your data center, Citrix delivery controller will be there. These are the core components of Citrix, like Citrix Studio, Citrix Director, License Server, then the Storefront Server, right? Then Active Directory Server is for user authentication purpose, which is known as like uh, ADDS roles on Windows Server, okay? And SQL okay. Server, it is for the database, like we have to store the logs, whatever is going on into our data center, when user is logging in, when user is logging off, right? Those kind of activities or logs we can store here in our database. And this is the hypervisor. So in the market for hypervisor or for virtualization, we are having three major players. First one is VMware, VSPR client. Second one is Citrix okay. Hypervisor and third hypervisor is from the Microsoft, which is known as the Hyper-V, right? So what we have to do, we have to create the entire data center on a single hardware, okay? And this is the end user device. So coming next. So this is a kind of uh, user layer, access layer, and that I will explain you later on. So <laughs> this is a actually session summary, what I plan for every of my student, like how to deploy the entire Citrix lab, right? So in the first one, we have to discuss the prerequisite. In the second kind of session, how to install and configure the delivery controllers. In the third one, how to install and configure the Citrix hypervisor, right? In the fourth one, how to create a Citrix Gen Desktop site and how to add a delivery controller. In the fifth one, we will learn how to, you know, create the master image, golden image, and to install the virtual desktop <laughs> delivery agent. In the sixth one, okay. how to create the machine catalog. In the seventh one, how to create the delivery groups. So machine catalogs are nothing. Machine catalogs are the uh, like virtual machines which we will host on the hypervisor. In the eighth one, we will uh, like uh, you know learn how to install the storefront server. In the ninth one, we have to test the entire deployment, like what we have did from lecture second to lecture eight, okay? And in the okay. 10th one, we have to plan for some troubleshooting and backup plan means if something goes down, in that case, how to remediate that issue, right? So okay. that is the plan actually. And you told me you're having a single day to deploy that much of infra. So I was a little bit confused means I was expecting like uh, you got stuck somewhere okay <laughs> no worries so yeah, actually i got two months of time bro but two, two months of time uh, as i told you one mm -hmm. guy who taken the money and he couldn't do the work i lose the money and i i don't i didn't find some people to help me but luckily today i was browsing the videos i could see your contact number so mm -hmm. that is how i got you okay so now this is a basic lab what we have to create right so first server that will be our domain controller right do you have any idea what is domain controller? No, no, no. It's an active directory server. Any idea on that? No, bro. 
Hmm, means you are a beginner, okay. So, yeah. sec second server will be our delivery controller, okay. Like okay. it's a Citrix server, you can consider this as a Citrix server, okay. In this Citrix server, we will install and configure all the core components of Citrix. Like this and this server will be our two hypervisors, like Gen Server 01 and Gen Server 02. So, why I consider two hypervisors it means if one server goes down, in that case, we can replicate or we can you know resume the services with the second hypervisor and these two machines are the end users machine in this in this machines what we will do we will install the Citrix workspace app and we will try to hit the resources whatever we published or we host in our hypervisors okay so okay. if you can see the infrana like <laughs> Uh, first one is my domain controller and my domain name is techamtech.com and for my domain controller I have allocated 2 GB of RAM, right? In the same way for Citrix server, I have given host name as DDC and RAM will be 6 GB and this machine is joined into my domain. Same for those machines as well, both uh, machines having 10, 10 GB of RAM on each and both are joined into my domain and these are the client machines with 2 GB of RAM and both the machines are into my domain. So now let me show you the real infra. I created some infra yesterday only for our <laughs> training chief student. So this is a Citrix hypervisor if you have ever seen. Okay, let me shut down this machine for now. So the uh, very basic thing which is required that is this one, like the domain controller. So let me retrieve the memory of this server first. So this is a domain controller. And it is, a, it is a Windows server machine. Why? Because when we are managing the huge infrana, we cannot manage each and every user with their local admin account, right? So we need one server who can easily manage thousands of user accounts with a single click right we need some console yeah. okay so means if you are working somewhere now or you know so they guys uh, will give you some user account to log in right yeah so that user account is domain user account only means <coughs> let me show you let me power on this machine and in the meantime which windows okay let me power on windows 10 machine for now, not 4 GB, 2 GB will be sufficient to run this machine. So here it is a DDC Citrix server. I already created one okay, on my lab. Let me power on okay. this as well for you. I will show you what i did actually okay it's still booting up let's wait for this to finish bro after this do you help me set up everything in my system so that was my plan only now always right so yeah. i was expecting like uh, you are having a good hardware or something like that right so no, bro, I, I was from zero actually i literally don't know anything of citrix so i blindly told me like some yeah, you told me like someone earlier helped you, right? For the, your project, they right? They help me with the documentation. They help me with the documentation. The no, buddy. Fan... Documentation will never help, right? Yeah. You cannot read the documentation in that deep manner, right? And you cannot uh, create your reports by using documents only. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what I'm, I'm just explaining you the basic thing. Like this is my domain controller, okay? If I go to the tool and into Active Directory Users and Computer, so you can see I have created few users like Delhi user. So these are yeah. the OU or folders. Like those folders may be different for your organization. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, so let me try to create one user, right? So, like, I can assume, like, you are a new joiner in my organization, right? So, there is no user account for you, right? So, if someone joins, what we have to do, we have to create new user in our domain. 
and let me what is your name navin okay let me put navin and log on name i can enter navin only simply click on next now what i have to as a server admin i have to give some random password here for you that is a kind of one time password okay i am doing that activity so now i have to check that option like user must change the password at next logon for security person uh, sorry security reason why because <laughs> we cannot share our password right we cannot violate the security so i created one user account and now this is my client machine i can ask navin to go there in client machine on other user he must have to enter the credentials but i have given to him username is navin and password so as per the policy you log in but server is prompting to change your password right away okay so just click on okay now it's your choice you can enter some new password right yeah and now you will log in your password has been changed and you will get your desktop in some time so this is a task of domain controller right okay and in a same way if a user left the organization in that case what we have to do we have to simply right click on navin and we can disable that user account right so after that okay. that user will not be able to log into system anymore right okay and from the same window i can reset your user password i can delete user account i can rename your account multiple uh, like activities i can perform okay so that is not our task it's the basic server skills okay so means uh, before preparing for the sit tick na like uh, uh, i think uh, <coughs> have you ever heard about like mcsa training no sorry so this is a kind of you know server basic training so whenever you will you will uh, go somewhere na for uh, like data centers for virtualization for cloud computing right so you will find only servers over there right so that is my client machine let me shut down my client machine for now so this is my delivery controller i configured earlier so i am just logging into here <coughs> so if you can see na in this server what i did actually i have installed all the components of citix like citix studio director then your sql server for database right so what i did uh where it is okay this is my delivery controller like uh, this is my citix server and in my citix server i am installed studio director license server and the sql server means on single machine i installed all those components right so that i have completed right so i cannot uh, i want i can show you to open how city studio looks like but uh, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense right now okay just let me know uh is there any possibility uh, for you to arrange some uh, good configuration hardware or any remote server so like what uh, example like like any laptop or desktop uh, with a i7 processor or higher or with at least 32 gb what is i7 one i7 uh is there any possibility Yeah. Okay. That is fine. How many memory slot you have in your laptop? But I don't know that as well. I need to check. I'm not much aware of this stuff. Do right click on. Ah, uh, do open your uh, like uh, task manager. You will see. So this okay, is your okay. first look of the things. We just share your screen. I will guide you. Right. Okay. Just a minute. Ah, uh, I think you need to stop the screen so I can. Yeah. Uh, yeah.
cancel the should ticket. I use this VMware uh, workstation yes. now? Cancel its license already got expired, so it is useless for you. You have to arrange. So should, 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 should I cancel this and should I go with this VM player now? Should I totally uninstall the previous one and I, should I go with this VM player? You cannot use VM, VM player for uh, virtualization. It is uh -huh, just okay. it is just a player only, okay? It can play your virtual oh. machine, that's it, okay? <laughs> Open the task manager. Open the task manager. Type task manager. Yeah, open it. Now click on the more details. On your left hand uh, blue corner here. Yeah. Uh, go to the performance tab. i7 8 generation and uh, click on the memory click on the memory just below the cpu yeah. okay uh, here is a good news okay so okay. your one slot is empty you can see slot use one of two right yeah so actually one... my system is a dual boot one actually i'm using it uh, it is dual booted with the for ubuntu but I'm not using it for a long time. I can take off everything. What I have, uh, even I've given like 200 GB or 230 GB for Ubuntu as well. I can just cancel everything. Yeah, that is completely fine. But uh, the physical memory, uh, like I'm talking about the RAM now, it is only 8 GB, right? So it will not work. Yeah, 8 GB. What yeah. I'm telling is. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah. what is the time uh, for you over there right now? Right now, it is uh, 7.30. 7.30. So, can you please go to the market and ask uh, some IT person or whatever the shops available over there to increase your memory to add 16 uh, GB memory stick to your laptop means after that 16 plus 8, so 24 GB will be there in your laptop and it will be good to have the virtualization. Is it possible for you? You can go now and you can let me know so that we can connect uh, in early morning at as per your time zone. Okay, uh, it, let me let look, me check. Look, the... look, it yeah. didn't cost that much high, like for 16 GB of memory stick now, like as per like INR, Indian currency, it will, he will charge you somewhere around, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, 2 to 2.5k only, okay? Okay, even I was talking, one of my friends told me instead of uh, going with increasing the RAM, uh, the, he even told me something, uh, other thing, I, I didn't remember. What, if we just need to go with the increasing the RAM or something else as well? Yeah, then in that case, you can, um, but you know, that solution is quite, you know, bulky for you means cost, uh, it will <laughs> make some cost means you can uh, take uh, the, like, you know, remote servers from Google Cloud or from AWS, right? But uh, they will charge okay. too much high, right? So yeah, 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 okay. here you will get solution within uh, 2 to 2.5k, right? But over there, you will get a billing amount for somewhere around in pounds that's for your currency right so okay that will be quite costly so if it's 730 only now i think um, you can go to the market right uh, or you the can go is, to... all the all the shops here will close at eight o'clock that is a rule here all the high streets like high streets in the main i mean all the shops which are in the city i mean so, major it, locality. Uh, so it is 730 only yeah, right now I, I i will be far away from london city main so Okay, okay, okay. So you can try that thing in the morning, okay? And in the meantime, why? Because you know the thing is that you are quite in hurry. So yeah, just stop your screen. Means okay, do not waste your time. You can see uh, some of my videos. Uh, let okay. me let me shut down this machine. So you are actually in a <coughs> beginner so no worry so what i will do so how do we connect with the uh, my project how can we connect with aws after the deployment of your lab only right not before that so first we must have to create okay. the data center do not get confused citrix is a different okay. thing or aws is a different thing aws 
is for Amazon and Citrix is from Citrix. Okay, so <laughs> do not get confused over there. Okay, so what I recorded earlier, uh -huh. my screen is visible to you, right? Yeah. Uh, do you understand Hindi? मेरे को यार अच्छा अच्छा समझ में ना आता भाई मेरे को हैदराबाद से हूँ ना मेरे को आता तेलुगु बात करते हैं हम लोग Oh, 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 oh. So, you know, I uh, mean, I've recorded, you know, those sessions like one, two, three, four in a step, like, you know, I covered uh, sitting introduction, then how to configure the delivery controller, then how to set up the hypervisor, right? So it is not completely in Hindi, but it is a kind of mixed kind of mashup with Hindi, English and other languages, not other Hindi and English only. If you are okay with that, you can try. Okay. I can do one thing. I am having my videos in English only. It means English itself. But uh, these are the recent one. Okay, so 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 so. Let me try to get uh, <coughs> what is happening to my internet. It takes March twenty three. No, it takes Jan. What is there? What is it takes? Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And recorded on 23 Jan means uh, uh, today's third, uh, okay, means uh, two months ago, okay. So, uh, where is that? In six Jan, we are having six ticks. Okay. And also, let me move this uh, how to move it uh, move to move to citric okay so this is your introduction part okay so uh, okay let me rename this uh, okay. how to name okay i am making this uh, zero hyphen okay so what you have to do, you have to see all the videos in sequence only, like from number 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Buddy, you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, just give me two minutes. Just yeah. one minute. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Yes, please. Hello. Yeah, bro. I was just talking to the mm -hmm. uh, technician, laptop technician near me. He mm -hmm. was not uh, today. Is Saturday. It is closed now. And tomorrow Sunday, not opening. He is available Monday mm -hmm. uh, morning at nine nine thirty. And he's telling me that it's going to be like sixty pound or something. For uh, depends on depends upon what type it is. And it's like it, sixty thousand six thousand in our six thousand in our currency. It should be somewhere around like uh, it should be DDR4 or DDR3 a memory stick in your laptop, you know. Okay, okay, he said he's gonna check it, but it should, he told me it, it will cost me like uh, 60 pounds, so it will be 6,000 something. So I have go to, to go the, with it then. Go to the multiple shops and bargain, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and so what I'm doing here now, do not waste your time, okay, tomorrow, okay. Or I think okay. I'm sharing this uh, <laughs> recording to you, okay? So, okay. please uh, go uh, through the recordings in the sequence only, like from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever the sequence I mentioned over there, okay? Okay. And then you will be able to have some idea, like, 
let me cop okay restricted at people just let me know your gmail id uh navin kumar n a v e e n k u m a r this one yeah that's what that's yeah 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 Just let me know if you got that pop up. Yeah, you yes, Citrix. You shared me file Citrix. Yeah. 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 So please download those files. These are the live session okay. recording with my students. Okay, so okay, you can. So now I have uh, okay. So I have three more recordings as well. This is for the server training. Okay, how to install okay. servers? Okay, but uh, okay, let me move uh, to. Not from there, it can. Buddy, please uh, do not uh, share those recordings to anyone, okay? Yeah, sure, sure, definitely. Okay, so before set text, I would request you uh, please go through the uh, server basics, okay? You there? Naveen? Sorry, bro, I'm not able to hear you. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm telling is that uh, before uh, the set text videos now, please go through the three videos for uh, uh, Windows Server Basics, okay? Okay. And then you you will be good to continue with uh, Citrix introduction and all that stuff, okay? But before that, please uh, go through these videos and please uh, try to upgrade your hardware by tomorrow or day after tomorrow, whenever it is possible. So what we can okay. do as per my time zone now, like uh, it's 11, sorry, 1, 1 p.m., right? Oh, sorry, a.m. here now. 
आई थिंक ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व ए एम और इलेवन थर्टी पी एम आई एस टी विल बी फाइन फॉर यू फ्रॉम मंडे और वेन एवर यू विल गेट योर हार्डवेयर डन Yeah okay fine I'll let you know whenever I get my ready uh, get ready with my hardware please text mm-hmm. me what what hard hardware should I get ready with what are the hardware uh, uh, should I install before I start this session uh, you just WhatsApp me so that uh, okay I'll I will get work. ready and uh, okay let me stop the recording.